It has been five days now since the intersection takeover by streetcar racers turned deadly. It happened at Old Nogales Highway and Aerospace Parkway on the city's south side. Three people were shot, all teenagers. One of the two boys died. The other remains in the hospital fighting for his life. The third victim, a girl, is paralyzed from the waist down. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo is live from the Sheriff's Department with the latest on this case. Lupita. There have been no arrests and homicide detectives have been following every single lead they've gotten since Monday. But they need your help and your cell phone. We need the person that pulled that trigger. Homicide Sergeant James Brown says there were over 100 people attending the street takeover early Sunday morning. Somebody out there knows something, they have video, they filmed the street racing event going on and unbeknownst to them that they might have something that will lead us to the person that pulled the trigger that night. Detectives have been combing through streetcar racing videos of that night. We aren't allowed to show you those videos because it's considered evidence. All these people are holding their, their phones up like this, filming everything. So whatever is in the backdrop, which is gonna be the make it or break it type deal for our case. Five bullet casings were found in this parking lot next to the Mission Apartments. On Monday, we interviewed this resident who asked not to be identified, but wanted people to know that the intersection takeover is dangerous. She's a mother and says there are many children in the complex. People who have kids, you know, they don't want no shooting around. You know, I wish that there would be more like, um, patrolling around or at least sitting in the front because it happens a lot just out there. Three people were struck early Sunday morning, a teenage male who was shot and killed, a teenage boy who was shot in the back and is clinging to life, and a teenage girl who was also shot in the back and is now paralyzed. Sergeant Brown is asking people with information and or video to please come forward. Bring justice and closure to this family and hold somebody accountable for pulling that trigger that night. If you have information, call 911. And if you have video and want to remain anonymous, you can call 88 Crime. And again, they're looking for cell phone video. Coming up on News 4 at 5, you'll hear just how dangerous those intersections can be. Reporting live from the Pima County Sheriff's Department, Lupita Murillo, News 4 Tucson.